Hello, everybody. Welcome to an episode of Jamaica Politics Uncovered. New subscribers, welcome. Returning subscribers, welcome back. Guys, I have a program to bring to you. You're going to get two programs this evening. One now and one at 8 p.m. my time, 7 p.m. Jamaica time on the other platform. The new platform, rather. Please type yes in the comment if you can hear and if everything is okay with sound and everything like that. Once you type yes, we will get talking. Tag somebody, like the live, share the live, and let the people them know so we are on. I have some information for you guys that I think is important that you should know. Also, do not miss this live tonight. Major, major development. The intelligence coming this morning. I'm going to say this cannot miss on us. So make sure say one of the other platform. Yeah, the other platform. I'm going to subscribe over there. So that's we can bring this to you tonight. We are here today, guys, to talk about one of the persons who uh, was part of this whole Jolly and Silvera saga. Melissa Silvera. You are looking at a woman named Nikisha Burchell, and I'm going to tell you how she tricked Peter Bunting. Guys, I'm going to be muted for about 30 seconds so that everybody can come in and come here while go on, okay? So like up the live, share up the live, call up the people them. Remember, I'm going to see me for how much days now, okay? And not the real way. We're back in the real way, okay? So... I'm going to be muted for 30 seconds while everybody else come in. I want to call everybody and come call crowd and draw long bench and all these things for come here that one year. Give me a second. I'm coming. Yes, guys. Yes, my JPU family. Good evening. JPU family, I'm missing it dearly. And I appreciate everybody who I reach out, who I call, who I text, who I do everything for say. Listen, YouTube is not the same. We need you. Run out. No, 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 no. I appreciate every last one I honor. So we're there now in the real way. So guys, the woman you're looking at on the screen is Nikisha Burchell. I don't know how much I want to know her. She's not really a household name, you know. But you're going to hear about how she has tricked Peter Bunting. Remember, we talked on this platform the other night, say, that some men can be very stupid. Remember, we had that conversation, right? And we were talking about how some women, we were talking about Leoda when we said that, you know, Men can be with these women and, you know, unbeknownst to them, she has a completely different agenda. You know, some women can be very, very, I don't even want to use the word, but I think you guys know exactly what I'm saying. Okay. For those of you who are just joining this platform, guys, this platform is Jamaica Politics Uncovered. It is and was invented to basically change the way that our politicians function in Jamaica. We're talking about the ones who are not here to deal with the people's business. We're talking about the ones who are just here to elevate themselves, promote themselves for the social status, you know, for the, the, the national profile of being a politician. We want those people out of our politics and to make Jamaica a much better place. When the people entrust these guys to carry out the business of the people and country, they want performers. They don't want people who are undermining each other, you know, doing some very dangerous things to each other and citizens alike. 
We want decency and we want seriousness in our politics. So this is what this platform is about. Let me go ahead and shout out the, the tribe. So it was here. I miss you guys so much too. My phone I ring already. I this man. This is not the program's phone. It's my personal phone. All right, I'm going to lock it off. So, guys, um, I miss you all so much, you know. Those who have been following the platform and, you know, the things that I have been saying off the record, yeah, on don't know what, what happened and, you know, the direction we're going in. But we'll get to that at the end of the program. So, guys, welcome. I'm so glad to see you. Glad everything is all right. We're doing all, all these things. Now, make we get in at it now because, you know, we don't like to delay. So, Nikisha Burchell, she used to, she used to be on, on CVM at Sunrise once in a while, you know. She, was, she didn't make it to be a household name on the program like how you would have, you know, Miss Kitty and all the other journalists or media people. She's never made it to be that household name because you really have to have you know, you have to have a little charisma. You have to have a good oratory skill. You have to have a, a magnetic mm -hmm. personality. You have to be all those things in order to be considered a household name on television or radio in Jamaica. So you have to have that about you. She didn't have that. So therefore, you know, she was just like one of those people who just passed through the revolving door of CVM or wherever on media platform. So... That was that. Now, Nikisha Burchell, as I've already told you guys, she was at Melissa's funeral, right? And allegedly, I come to understand that Bunting told some of his Rise United people to go to Melissa's funeral, like his wife, like a bit of blood. There she is right there. And Nikisha Burchell was also at the funeral. Nikisha Burchell didn't really know Melissa. An instruction them get for God the funeral. Right? All right. So I could go back to how Nikisha Burchell tricked Bontin. When Bontin decided that he wanted power in the PNP, Bontin reached for... I think Bontin is smart enough to know the power that some women carry and how he can exploit the situation where he's in control and pulling the strings, but he can use that woman for her power and for what she can do. So like, for example, he won't use a certain type of women, women like her, Lisa Hannah now, he wouldn't dare because Lisa has an independent mind and women like Lisa, I'm not saying Lisa especially, I'm just saying women of that caliber, he wouldn't dare do that because he, he, will, he wouldn't be able to puppeteer her, you know, and he wouldn't be able to get her to do all the evil things that he set out to do. So a Nikisha Burchell was his perfect target. So she started out on social media and she promised him, said she's going to make him the next prime minister of Jamaica. Yes. He was, go, he was going to be the next leader of the PNP, and then he was going to be the next prime minister of Jamaica. That was her promise to him. Because him feel like, say, because she in a media and familiar with media, so she can help to propel him. Because this is not a man that is charismatic. He's not magnetic. He doesn't have great oratory skills that make you stop and want to listen to him, right? He was just, you're, you're not even your average. Because your average guy can get my attention or anybody's. But somebody like Bunting, it's very hard. So she was that person, and she used her social media pages from her Facebook, you know, where she would put herself out there as a sex symbol and have Bunting's picture in her background, vote Bunting, building with Bunting, all these kind of things, right? So she was that person who was promoting him, promoting him, promoting him. So now, an interesting article in 2018 came out of the Gleaner. And in 2018, you know, so that was one year before Peter Bunting challenged Peter Phillips. 
the, the person who is the writer of this article, I don't know who this person is. I didn't really look it up, but the person is Latara Booty, Gleaner writer. And the article was titled Peter. Never said Peter Phillips. Never said Peter Bunting. Said Peter. And if you look at the photo in the middle, when Nikisha Birchell is, you will see where it says advisor to the opposition leader, Nikisha Birchell. When was she an advisor to Dr. Peter Phillips, the Honorable? She was never an advisor to Dr. Peter Phillips. But anyway, the article goes to tell you about an event where Patricia Duncan was there, Ashley Ann was there, Nikisha Birchell was there, and um, Imani Duncan was there. But it just struck me because I because I know how they operate and how manipulative, lie, opportunistic the Rise United people are. I wouldn't be surprised if Nikisha told these people that she was advisor to some Peter, right? And then people just assume it was the Honorable Dr. Peter Phillips. She was never an, an advisor to him. In 2018, she was trying to get Bunting to lead the People's National Party. So this is a mind game. This is a this is a psychological mind game. This article right here. They could have named the article Peter Phillips or Dr. Peter Phillips, right? Or if they really intended to say Peter Bunting, they could have said Peter Bunting, but they left it as Peter to stoke to stoke curiosity about some Peter. Remember, I'm telling you, I study psychology for three years, you know. I become, I never see myself in that um, field working for a lifetime where I didn't finish, okay? I eventually did what I wanted to do, but my little knowledge with psychology, I know all them give me a play. Peter. All right, so that was 2018, as you can see right there. 2019, There was the campaign. She was walking around with the camera and the We Can Win t-shirt, Peter Bunting. Right there, you see Miss Little Bit of Blood in the black pants and the orange top and the hat on her head with the heap of braids, right? So, yeah, she kind of weaseled her way in because she promised Bunting, I can make you... I can make you leader of the PNP. And I can make you leader of Jamaica. And he believed it. He believed it. Yeah. Yeah, man, he believed it. Because, let's face it, you know, Peter Bunting of him wife, but I don't see her as that um person who would go out there and, you know, be on the front line and that kind of thing. Plus, she knows the type of life that he lives. She knows his desires. And it doesn't bother her because she gets to live nice. You know, she gets to live in, in, in a pretty, pretty decent situation. And you have some women, they'll, they'll make that sacrifice, you know. Their heart comes last. But to, to have this social profile and social status, they will go, go with just about anything. So the wife know. The wife know the relationship between Bunting and this woman here. And she does work with it. You understand? She, she have to work with it. Because Bunting not going to go with no woman who's not going to work with it. Right? So now, them dip on the campaign, guys. And them dip on the campaign. And yay. And, you know. And one of these nights, I'm going to have to bring you guys the leak. Where Nikisha was the administrator of the sabotage plot against Peter Phillips and the PNP. She was one who was behind the scenes doing a lot of the character assassination on people on Bunting's behalf. She was doing a lot of stuff, guys, to people on Bunting's behalf. And I wonder if she knew how much she was hurting people for this man who had nowhere going, right? She knew she couldn't take him anywhere. She knew she didn't have what it takes. Because she had to hang on to his coattail to be seen in the public. And that's why she has 
his profile picture on her, not profile, but her, his, um, his picture thingy promotion on her cover photo on Facebook, right? So after she run the trick on him and tell him same can win, and him go lose to Dr. Phillips, she encouraged him. Passively, so she encouraged him to sabotage Dr. Phillips. And I am not just saying this. The evidence is there. And as I said in the, the WhatsApp leak, I would have to go into the studio and spend like an hour and a half to organize everything to show you the, the leak and the sabotage plot and leak that she was the administrator of. For example, when Bunting lost and people people in the in the in the group was telling him that he needs to concede and he needs to make his concession and speech. She was like, oh no, I don't think it's right to be rushing him to concede. He needs time, you know, that kind of thing. She wasn't saying you need to concede so that the party can come together because we're like months away from an election. She never did that. She was the one in there stroking his ego, babying him and making him feel that he doesn't have to concede. And then it went from there to let us sabotage them. When you go to parliament, sit down in the corner away from them. Don't talk to them. Make it, make it obvious to the public that we're not supporting them. That's the role that she played. And that's what she did, guys. And that's what Bunting followed. Because remember, she had to make him the leader of the opposition and the prime minister of Jamaica. So he lost the challenge. She was the one leading the whole thing. You see her with the camera, the phone, the t-shirt, everything, right? So she was the leader of the whole thing. So she make him lose, basically, because if he had a strategic per a communications person, maybe he would have succeeded. I don't know, but clearly she didn't do the job. So him lose right there, so. So her next thing was, okay, I am doing this for something. You know, there's a method to her madness. She wants in on the politics. She wasn't just going to be his advisor. She wanted in on the politics, guys. And she made that very clear to him. I'll help you become the leader of the opposition. I'll help you win your seat. He lost his seat, so two lost that, you know. Two lost that female, you know. At her leadership, you know, lose the challenge and lose him seat. Two last that for Bunting and Adista Galia, two lynch. But they made a pact, they made a promise. She would do all of this and he would get her in on the politics. She never joined up PMP YO. You know how people come up in the ranks of the party, you come from the YO from a young. And for example, let me show you. Hold on. For example, people like Damian Crawford now would have come up in the ranks. I don't know if that girl in the yellow come up in the YO. You understand? But yes, to wish part, yes, to wish part. She, Nikisha Birchell Reach. Anyway, we are jump ahead of ourselves. Hold on. Let me go back to where I started. Yeah, so, where I left off, I mean. If I'm going too fast, guys. You can say it in the comments. You can say, hey, slow down. Let me see what the comments they must say. All right. Um, um, Real Joseph Stepper, you're supposed to be a Rasta man. What are we a Rasta man in a bangarang over here? Eh? What are we a Rasta man in a bangarang? Look here. We're not over here at talk about who look good or who not look good. This is not about looks. Politics is about mainly brain power. Okay? If you're a Rasta man, you sure love the BBL and them something there. Eh? Understand? So over this platform, we don't do, we don't do dance and we don't do... You understand? We keep it intelligent over here. We're not judging anybody and based on their, their looks or on their body. I know that that stands out to you because... You know, we live in a time where 
the BBL and the extreme, um, uh, what do you call it, the extreme uh, plastic surgeries, you know, it's, it's, it's a trending thing. But we don't really care about that over here, okay? Over here, we care about intelligence and brain power and all these things. And we're not against people who look good. We promote people who look good. We, we want to see people look good. But that is not what this is about. Let me see. Um, Bunting can't even secure him on. Oh, man molest my him son in him. Oh, yeah, we know that. All right, guys, me don't want to lose my chain of thought. Um, if, if you're just joining this platform for the first time, be careful what you're saying in the comment because over here, so we're not, we're not run certain joke over here, right? And we keep over here upon a certain level. So if you come over here with certain style and certain behavior, you're going to get blocked from out of the comment. May I tell you right now, don't come over here with it. Better you be a silent listener. All right. So anyway, guys, um, Peter Bunting um, having to hold up his end of the bargain, not because he thinks that she was great at communications, because clearly he lost his seat and lost everything that she led, led him to do. But I guess he wanted to keep up his end of the bargain, so she reached out the politics. In St. James somewhere, um, he kind of shuffled her in, you know. And who's going to say anything? I mean, when you look at the politics of the PNP these days, this is a party that was bought for $10 million. You know, so the people who wield the cash, they're always going to have the say. And those who are not with that kind of thing, they'll pull back, they'll go silent, they'll fight back. But you're as long as they're in charge, you know, you're gonna have people who are weak minded and weak to people's money. For example, Dayton Campbell, he's one of those people, but we will get into that another time. So Peter Bunting set her up in a St. James. Um, not only set her up in a St. James, forget a seat to go to parliament. So you see, this is why certain things we cannot do in the politics, you know, because you have husband and wife. In a, you know, I'm talk it straight over here, so, you know. You have husband and wife in the parliament, and now a side chick and concubine won't go to parliament. No, right? This is where Jamaica politics is. So instead of the country, I get better. It's going to get worse because if this is the standard of the politics today, then where are we going? What are we doing? You know? So she get the caretaker position in a St. James. And him also give her the communication. She's like the deputy. She's the deputy general secretary. One of the deputy general secretaries of the PNP. And she's also, I think, the communication. I don't know what the communication title is, but she's some communication person. Right? And as you can see her there with... The PNP people, damn, and you know, she was on the. Let me see if I can find that. Hold on, guys. Oh gosh, I'm gonna have to hold on. Anyway, so she was also on the diaspora tour with the lead of the opposition in the state of Florida. Let me see if I can. Let me see if I can find it. Hold on, guys. I want to show you everything. And you know, she take part in a the PNP conference and she go up on the stage and she's everywhere. She's everywhere. It's like she's the mama for the PNP now. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Let me get a photo for you guys. Yeah, guys. So, um, Mira Seno, you know, she has all these positions that Peter Bunting put her in. 
there they are in Florida on the so-called diaspora tour, which didn't really, it didn't really take any wings, right? Because if the, if anybody who in a politics in a Jamaica, if them can't draw one nice, decent crowd in a, some major cities like Atlanta or, you know, Florida or New York, then they have no political genius of any sort or any degree. So, Um, I, I'm showing you this, guys, to say that all these positions that Bunting put her in, it's not because she's, a, she's good at anything, because she led his campaigns, he lost his seat, he lost the internal challenge, She's the one that's in charge of the PR business or the communication business also for Mark Golding, right? And this is what them come with. Make Jamaica nice again, the Donald Trump undertone. You understand, guys? So we're not talking substance here. We're not talking, you know, any, any level of, um, you know, performance or anything like that. Right, so the trick what you trick bunting now was that you can win. I'm gonna make you win, I'm gonna help you win, I'm gonna help you be the leader of the opposition. Me, I'm gonna help you be the next prime minister of Jamaica. And meantime, I'm gonna lose and I lose and I lose and I lose all his seat. Right, she I get promote, 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 promote. When you see the trick, when you're talking at the comment, if you see the trick. Come talking at the comment if you see the trick, guys, because if you don't if you see the point, I can't stop that now. If you don't get the trick, and if you don't see the trick, you are talking at the comment. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. You see it long time? Okay. Let me know if you see the trick, guys. Let me say if you see the trick. The trick. The man lose everything, including his mind. He lose everything. He lose his seat. He lose the internal challenge. He lose popularity. Meanwhile, the woman will lead him to these losing battles, who, who carry him through these, these losing battles. She kept getting promoted, promoted in other politics, general sec deputy secretary, communication secretary, counselor, not counselor, MP caretaker, want to go to parliament, all kind of summer, all over the place. Right? And this is the kind of politics that we don't want in a Jamaica. You see, the concubine, me not talk straight to you guys. Me, I, listen, me going to talk straight and me don't care who offended. This is not about bashing women and bringing down women. So me don't want nobody come over here so can think that. Okay? Even though you're free to think what you want. But this is not about bringing down any woman. This is about patriotism. Okay, guys? This is about patriotism. We do not want the concubine politics in Jamaica. We do not want the side chick and the bedroom politics in a Jamaica. We can't care. Some picture come out here and show you, you know, guys. Some picture where they might do some sitting, you know. But me not going to do that yet, you know. You understand? If they call me name, or if they go like they want war with me, me just go for that, go in at the arsenal. You understand? The picture them with the narcissist, they can't care them come out here, but me not going to do that. No. Me just want to show you as a Jamaican to a Jamaican that the politics of Jamaica is too degrading, it is too nasty, and these people cannot bring Jamaica anywhere. This is serious business, you know, guys. Leading a country and leading a major political party, they are serious, serious responsibilities. We cannot have men bringing their side chicks and their concubine into the politics, them bedroom into the politics. And this is why I, over here, tell you, say, even though Juliet Olness is Andrew Olness's wife, and, you know, they're a family and everything like that. Yes, if I have your spouse or your concubine or your girl, girlfriend or your side chick in the politics with you at the same time, we don't want that, guys. We want men to have them head 
Look here. Remember, you know, we say that some men can be very stupid and weak in their mind, you know. We know that, you know, because we are women, you know. You understand? Uh, any woman or some man, I mean, I undermine a man because me love man, me is a heterosexual woman. Okay? So me love man, I don't want to live in a world without them. I talk it all the while. But some men are very weak-minded. And the man, them need their head for do their work. Right? If woman can do bunting so, and it's not him wife, when him going to security ministry and then sitting thing, where am I going to do for the, him, him, have no, him have no brain cells for do the work of the people? Eh? And this is why I said, Judith Wallace must come down for half a day. He, um, the speaker bench, make Andrew Wallace get him head for doing work because she had interfered with him work. I mean, tonight, when we come on with the next um with the next episode of the program here, me go tell you know what is going to go on because don't see your sitting now go on in another week, yeah, or by the end of the week, okay? So I am saying this to say Bunting is a girl clown. And I'm sorry if you have to say it that way, guys, because you know we keep the platform over here at a certain level. We not we not like use certain language over here. But sometimes we really and truly have to talk the language of our people if you go understand and everybody understand. And when I, when I just talk to the upper St. Andrew people, because they're over here watching, you know. We're not just talking to those people, you know. We're talking to the people them in a middle town and downtown and around town and in a rural Jamaica. So I have to talk every language over here. So, right? Bunting is a girl clown. And we don't want the girl and we are clown out Bunting in our parliament, in our politics. You understand, guys? Is not him wife doing so, you know? Is not him wife doing so? Is a woman will trick him? In America, they have one term with them. The girl them a street walk. Or the girl them way. Them do um prostitution work. Or then do escort work. And escort would be even a very sophisticated term to use, but Women who do that kind of work, them call them a trick. You understand? Means that them run a trick on a man. All who know them like... <laughs> no, some need one tambourine over here. I wonder if my daughter have no tambourine in her room. Run it so she used to play when she had a baby. Because I could have ring it just up on her. I can't play no music over here. The girl, them do the street walking work in America. And the world. And then do the, the outer road work them or the street. Only know the work them when I talk. You call them trick. The one them where the man them pimp out them, pimp them out. Then call them trick and they say them run a trick pan a man. So the girl run a trick pan. <laughs> the girl run a trick pan bunting. Jesus Father, I can't believe this. I want to be sure calling this pan a one here. No, sir. The people them run the show on a trick on him. She trick him and tell him, say, she gonna make him king of the world. And to God, bunting pop right down him lose everything, including him mind. Eh? Some can go so. And she just a climb her way and a get her way and get her way and get her way. Right? And it's not if I know your wife, if, if a woman can't come do you so. And then your wife, dear so. What use do you have to the Jamaican people? Eh? Look how far, look how far, look on him face right there, so. Eh? It's not like him bring a winner coming at the thing, you know, guys. Because sometimes, you know, when you know, say so you, you have a winner, you have power with a winner, right? And you see where them can be helpful. You see where them can. Bring something to the table and make your team shine and outshine. You know you are bringing a winner. Maybe you can give them a blind and say, all right then, make sure you come in, you know, she has some real good skills, you know. Look at the only skills where the woman have his skills for him, but no skills for the politics and no skills for the PNP. Only no America talk it straight over your son. No skills. Him lose everything. Biggest political loser in the world. You will never see this again. A man challenge him leader and lose and lose him seat on top of it. After all the lights, camera action. Eh? 
After all of the lights, camera action, bunting gone down to zero. Right? So Mark Gowley now, he has an affinity for losers. Right? Pick up a loser, bunting, lose him seed. Pick up a loser, date and lose him seed. And now is him a mumma loser. Mumma loser, Birchell, the past stage, I try to talk to the Jamaican people. Them, no, no, tell me something now. Oh, this makes sense. Make it make sense. Make it make sense for the Jamaican people. Them, you understand? Make it make sense. No, make us make us go over to the party you now. Nikisha Birchell, where she did I do? She and her sister, I can't call her sister wife because she's a wife. She and Bontin wife, Anushka. Anushka will never want to talk to the police them after they kill Melissa and cover it up. When the police them call Anushka, she don't want to talk to them. But she could have got the funeral, go sit down in her front row. Go Osh, go Osh, Silvera, and Oshin sister. Because it look like, say, Anushka, I must say, Anushka get the call, say, Silvera killed Melissa by accident. So her husband said, I go to the funeral and send this, the concubine, so got the funeral too. I be a riser, got the funeral, no real, no, no real. It true authentic Jamaican, right? Never go run no dirty joke at the woman funeral as sit down with the people them who are suspect. The whole of them are suspect, right? Make a plug in the computer. Hold on, guys. Yeah, so wanna see the connection now? Wanna see the connection now, guys? The woman a clone out bunting. We make him lose everything. Because she not had no skills. That's why she never made it to be a household name on CVM TV when she was on there. Okay? And they wrote this article. I them get one of them friend over Glena for write this article. To put she as advisor to Peter Phillips. She could have advised Peter Phillips. Eh? I want somebody to call up a Dr. Phillips yard for me. And call me. I want the number there for the program. Call up a Dr. Phillips yard. Somebody pay us so. all 570 at one. Somebody must have Dr. Phillips number and ask Dr. Phillips say, Jamaica politics uncovered say, if, <coughs> sorry there. If this woman used to advise him, where she could have advised Dr. Phillips, say? Dr. Phillips be Peter Bunting. And she was Bunting campaign leader. She and Dayton. And Dr. Phillips beat them. And him lose him seat. And Bunting lose him seat. So she didn't advise Dr. Phillips. Only see what I'm telling about Jamaica media. Eh? Only see what I'm telling about Jamaica media. How could the media, the gleaner, print a thing like this? I put this woman as Dr. Phillips's opposition leader, um, advisor. Oh, oh you see me telling so Jamaica is not a real place. This is so false. This is grossly false, guys. You understand? So I'm telling you, say, the whole of them collude and throw Melissa on and eat the bus, right? Who no kill her, cover it up, all that blood that leak out of the woman's body. One of them clean it up, dash with the linen them, dress her, adjust her clothes and fix her, and none of them not contact her, they see her body. Who you notice that? The whole of them, they see blood, they see a little bit of blood on our nose. They see everything else, but they never see the gunshot wound and they never see our body. Eh? But the whole of them, I take all kind of man, 
and I do all kind of thing for coming at Jamaica politics a lion or tell. Is it lion or tell? Right? Me not going to stay long panda one year now, guys. This is um tonight, 8 p.m. US time, 7 p.m. Jamaica time. Uno come over the new the new channel and come here. What what are going on in this? Make a read the title and tell you now. Hold on. The title for that one here tonight, guys. Several things happening here. When you look on the faces that are on the flyer. Tonight, Juliet Oulness. Andrew Oulness, them look like so them I hear me. I don't know. I don't beg nobody to hear me, you know. I just come over here for contact with it really. Go. Who want to take eat, then can't hear. Who don't want to take eat after them business. Remember, we don't come out here and talk foolishness. Anyway, I go and talk, people can listen. Because it makes sense, right? And what I say, it goes so. I don't toot my own hand, guys. I did warn the nation about these people. So they are murderer. They murder us and viper us. And see them turn on kill Melissa. I was warning, and people hear me and know say I threw me attack, right? But for tonight's topic, something that will go on with Juliet Oldness on the need for going here is what? The house clerk should break her silence. Yes, the, the house clerk who been working in the house of parliament, the CEO, the CEO of the parliament, Miss Curtis, she broke her silence. She has a lot to say, and I think you guys want to hear this. Cliff Hughes is tricking the people again with some utterances that he made recently. Right? And I want you to hear that. And there's something major in the court to be decided, perhaps by the end of this week, regarding Paula Lowellin. Right? And I'm going to show you guys a video. And I'm going to let you hear the real reason and the real problem that Peter Bunting had, still has, with Philip Paulwell, which cost him the life of his baby and her mother. You don't want to miss it, guys. I hope my I, I brought my point across. Um, this channel, guys, and the host, co-host, correspondent, moderator, I don't get a moderator because I don't forget a moderator. I don't know what the excitement for all of us saw about moderator, but I don't get the moderator because I don't want an argument to nobody. They say forget moderator, I'm going to get one. Anybody, um, and I think it's only right that I get a moderator from, from Wilco clan over here. So. If anybody in the clan is willing to be the moderator, I invite you to send me a WhatsApp. See the phone number there across the bottom of the screen. Send a WhatsApp and say, I, I volunteer to do it, okay? And I'll happily make you the moderator of over here. The new channel, guys, Jamaica Politics Uncovered 2.0. If you look on the community board here, you will see the link to subscribe to it, okay? What would a moderator do? That's a good question. A moderator manage the comments, them and them kind of something there, my love. Me not 100% text have, you know. Remember when I was first come out here, yeah, one blank screen, me have, you know. You understand? So me not want to come pressure me about producer, moderator, and that kind of something. Me said too much rat never dig a good hole, but more work with a moderator. Right? When you see the other rest of people, them, who have produced and this and I want to see what happened to them, money problem. No money problem now bring down this platform here. So me work with a moderator who wants to do voluntary work. Okay? Patriotic people who want to do voluntary work. All right. Um, Christ child, as she bring it up. So make sure you do it. Christ child, send me a um, WhatsApp and let me know if you want to do it. Um, or anybody for that matter that's willing to do it. 
You understand? Moderators are gate. Yes, sometimes the moderator them I think can be very um helpful because when you know say so sometimes any of me say anything in the, in the comment we are foolish, me will stop and cuss somebody. So the moderator can't catch them the comment if you know. <laughs> the moderator can't catch them the comment if you know make me see it. Yes. So I think the moderator can go on. Yes. Angela Jones sign up for it. All right, you know how the number does send a message come. Um, moderator would manage the comments to read it off crap so it does not show. Yes. And also, I think I, I think the moderator would respond to questions that are asked in the comments. Remember, sometimes people ask questions in the comments, you know. And while I am focusing on delivering, you know, and, you know, running the studio as I'm talking to you, I'm having to answer questions too. So I think that's a good idea. So, on the type in the comment and let me know if you don't understand how Bunting get trick. I see you may mark go and trick him, you know, but I forgot to bring another part there one at a time. On the type in the comment and let me know if you don't understand and if I was able to um, adequately and effectively deliver. You know, the fact that Bunting got tricked. Met the woman lead him down a part of destruction. And left him a road. I mean, while him have to continue for all of him in the bargain, which is to bring her coming at the politics. Not because she brings anything to the table, because everything she put her hand on is a lose. Right? You got it clearly, Joan. Thank you very much. All right. Yes. Um, Electra, you got it. Okay. Yes. So, Bunting, not that smart then. No, he's not smart, no time. Kelly. Well, on then. Kelly. Guys. I'm going to turn off my stove. I cook some soup and my daughter they wear around her room. She can't hear me. Hold on, I come and lock off the stove. Yeah, guys, you know, so I can't afford for the house bond down. Come in and come out here, come beg nobody nothing. Me now nah, come hold no collection plate and come pressure on like come see some people I do. I tell you, no, see my house bond down more one, one one and two two donation. Me not nah, going do that so. Me have to lock off the stove because we can't afford for your bond down. Yeah, guys, me I come soon talk to you, girl. Yeah, guys, so. Me need a shit. Hi. <laughs> no, sir. So, we'll on there. Me need moderator. Me need producer. Me need chef. What else me I gonna need? One man tell me, say, me need one of that baby. What else me I gonna need? Uno people not easy, you know? All right. Um, Bunting, forgot to focus on promo. Yes, and we're up. Look here, guys. You see? What them try do? Remember, I know. You see, when one door, one door close, about twenty more open. This platform is gonna get much bigger, much better, right? Without the bugger bugger and the excitement, you understand? Because we have to talk to proof as well. We now have to know about the rule, what proof played, is playing, and will play in the future if all goes according to their plan. Right, so all of that has to be uh, has to have to be brought to the fore over here. Nobody else, nobody else wanna see a talk out here where cost Andrew only some cost this and cost that. They now can't tell you them something there, you know. They now can't tell you no. All right, see it now. We need moderator chef and husband, Jesus Christ. Only not easy at all. 
Would you feel like an upcoming celebrity? Mm -hmm. So, guys, them are people here. Them are people here. Right? Anybody will mix up in a, in a day conspiracy. Right? If you take down Melissa and cover it up, members say they depend on the enemy list over here. So, right? That are the first thing. All of them, who them know what happened to Melissa, and they make them make people tell them things, right? And then come out, like say they want to support Sylvia, and they sitting there and come out your talk about a little bit of blood, guys. We're not in a nothing with them. A judgment to step on them. Because Melissa pity them now, no matter. And I know sick the woman, sick and dead. So, the perpetrator now behind the cult. Him tell them, say them for go on a funeral, for not make the thing look away. Right? And then trick him and use him. So, me I go see, um, him reduce now down to blocking road. I first me see this in a life. Somebody send me one video. I think Liz tell him not to. Say out there blocking road. Imagine. A man will say the biggest thing in Jamaica and make Dan and this run how much pool and tell Jamaica and tell PNP people him say he can beat Peter Phillips and he can beat Andrew Owens. Jesus Christ, Dan and this one. We need to fire Dan and this not Jamaica. Dan and this can tell the nation and say Peter Bunting could have beat Peter Phillips and Andrew Owens. Right? And Peter Phillips, Radam Bunting. And Dan and this never tell we say Bunting was going to lose him seat and lose the challenge. So we need to fire Dan and this from out of Jamaica. That's why I'm going to look on polls again. You know. People like Dan and this make me tap look on polls. You know. Because you see, some of them polls stay and they sell out. You know. A lot of these poll stars, not a lot, because we really don't have a lot. And rest in peace to Bill Johnson. Bill Johnson is one of the long-time poll stars in Jamaica we pass off recently. Yeah, right? I'm going to tell you something. Yes, all the politics and the direction of the politics are go. Is these poll stars, they make people appear them, right? Figure design poll to their, um, to their desire. And who to tell them really around the poll the right way for true? Because how the hell you can come tell people say Bunting can beat Peter Phillips and beat Andrew Owens. And when you check it out, Bunting get beaten from Peter Phillips and lose his seat. What can go so? I'm not saying that sometimes a poll may not deviate just a little bit, but this was the complete total opposite. And we're not stupid. So Dan Anderson, you're fired, man. A time for you for fire you now. Get some different poll star. When I just take money from people for run poll, oh them. Oh them want the result for come tricky people them. Can't do that, guys. You see, if we don't catch up with Singapore. Remember, say Singapore come to in a Jamaica for the blueprint, right? All right, I know, me tell you, I already say, it look like, say, we need to go back over Singapore for a blueprint. Because they come to Jamaica for the blueprint, I want to search for Singapore. Anyone I want to go to Singapore yet? I want to know Singapore, and understand Singapore. They run, go and leave with them, take the blueprint and run, go and leave with. And we in a Jamaica, we still a butter for life. We still are deep, rely and depend on the prowess of our athletes and the legacy of our reggae artists like Bob Marley and them, the something and the beauty of our landscape. Those are the things that we're relying on to be relevant in the world and our culture. What about the well being of the people? What about the brain drain? If we were, if and I believe, maybe I'm a little biased, I don't know, but 
I believe Jamaica is one of the most beautiful countries in the world. I mean, I talk about the Caribbean. I said the world. I mean, it's a girl travel. Okay? I've been to almost every continent in the world. And there's nowhere like Jamaica where the landscape, the culture, and even the very people are concerned. One of the hardest things for anybody, if, if we wish to speak the truth, is to visit Jamaica and leave. It's hard. You understand? Because we're not going to get that. No matter how big the diaspora is, we're not going to get that kind of vibe, that kind of energy. We love Jamaica, and that's why we're the ears to do this. So we are saying right now, the best way for Jamaica to manifest in a the real way, the national development agenda, right? And we're not just talking about for the next election. We are talking about the next decade and two decades and years to come for our children and our grandchildren. The best way to go about it is to look at our parliament, right? There are some people in our parliament that we need to get out. And there are some people that we should never allow to get in there, like the concubines and the side chicks and the murderers and those who help them cover up crimes. I asked sooner before, Mark Golin should be charged for perverting the course of justice where Melissa Sylvia is concerned. Because Mark Golin came out and tell the nation, say, Melissa died of natural cause and he wished Silvera condolences. When Mark Golding heard, or maybe he knew before, I don't know, but when it was revealed that Melissa died of gunshot wounds and that his friend, Silvera, it's his weapon of destruction that caused it. He did not come out and say, you know what, Jamaica? When I made the announcement of Melissa's death, I was speaking based on what I was told. I have nothing further to say as there's an investigation going on. I apologize. He has not said that. He has not corrected what they would want people to believe that Mark Golding knew nothing about what really happened to Melissa. He has not corrected that. Had it been any other country in the world, he would be charged for obstructing justice. Because Melissa's case was not investigated as, as a homicide until weeks later, which denied her justice, which gave them the opportunity to cover the crime. So she did not get a fear investigation into what happened to her until her autopsy report came out. It's not right, guys, and it's not fair. Mark Golding should be charged. If he cannot prove that the announcement that he made was misinformation, then we can say that he needs to go and sit um, in front of a jury and prove himself. He not come out and say, look here, may I distance myself from this, you know. And when me hear, me talk. The natural cause when me hear about, I eat me talk. You know, come out, come correct that. Anybody, any sensible person, that's the first thing they would do. They would say, you know, I, I spoke based on what I was told. And if you come down to where the police, they're going to ask him, say, well, who tell you, say, she died in her sleep, or who tell us your aneurysm or whatever. You have to go talk, or who tell you? Because it's either you talk, or you're going to go to prison. But him not come out, come say nothing at all. And that tells me that he knew the truth of what happened to Melissa. And he was probably instructed to say what he said to cover up and deny Melissa justice. So, guys, I'm going to leave it off right here. So, when you come over the other channel, I'm going to put the link in a day, this in a day, sit there so after I come off. Right? Jamaica Politics Uncovered 2.0, the new platform.
you know, we're going to continue over there. Justice for Melissa. I may call upon the Jamaica Constabulary Force again. Members of the Justice Department, the U.S. Justice Department, they know what's going on, you know. You understand? So only nobody that thinks that this year ever died down because I'm on the silence. You understand? No bandoloism. No bandoloism and no corruption to the sort me and Melissa go get justice. Only need for charge Mark Golden for perverting the course of justice. Whosoever else on the say on the going to reign in, can say on the was investigating, right? Did you no question this man for ask him say where him got the woman yard go do? And did him see her body? All them sitting there now. Somebody send me one video. I want to make talk it. I'm not talk it yet, you know. I'm going wait look her. I'm going wait look her. But the Jamaica Constabulary Force, they have a lot of work to do. All eyes are on the case of Melissa Silvera. Justice for Melissa. All of those who are compromised, who covered it up and thought that they were doing something good for the PNP because Silvera is a member, current member of the PNP. Sylvia is a friend of Mark Golding and Peter Bunting because they don't want Sylvia to go to prison. Only in a deep trouble, me I tell you no. Remember when I fumble over here, so you know, when I, when I run dirty joke, you know, when I come out just a contact and I withdraw, you know, when I trouble, you know, serious trouble too. Una on a so called tapanaris. Which part of Una tapanaris? We do no dirty blood money. Oh, no get to no money. All I'm sitting there investigating. You know? No, no, only no have no inheritance from the family. Right? Only no, only no come from a wealthy family, but you no come a ball out in a poor people's face. But only don't make no money already. Eh? Only can't tell you only make no money. Member say, man, this is the last of the PJ Pattison. Click in a Jamaica, guys. They must go down today, today. Because Jamaica, I forget better, it cannot get no worse. This very same thing, when we try to warn the nation about, say, them your people are wicked. The Rise United movement are wicked. For three consistent years, I have used two words to describe them. Me say them viperous and them murderous. When we call them murderous, one and two people come out and say me. Some people are unfriend me on Facebook to me say they murder us. But me not care. Then things say me extreme. Me not extreme. See, then come murder Melissa for true. And cover it up. They not no boundary. Some people need to go educate themselves on the very basics of human psychology. When you see people behave reckless and dangerous, do not take them lightly. They will do these things. They have no regard for the fact that this is a major political party and, you know, what is happening is terrible. So the people, what did, what did that cost me? And that, did that block me and say me a mischief maker and they sitting there. I wonder where them have to say now. Eh? Where them have to say now? Me do my due diligence, you know. Me say danger. I come down from Jamaica. I blow the whistle from early out. Yes. Brawling too. Never hide and do it. And see them come kill a woman and cover it up and both of them are saying they girl and they woman got funeral. What kind of style is? When you come back tonight over the other page, I'm going to talk to you now about this new developing news. What a go on, you know, or it looks for Andrew Owens. Something a go on in a Washington, I think uh, within a month or something with this. Republic stuff, you know, we need to talk about that, but we're not going to talk about that tonight, right? We're going to talk about Cliff Hughes, Juliet Olness. I'm going to tell you where Miss Curtis say, what are going on at the courthouse with Paula Llewellyn this weekend or this Friday, right? And you're going to hear a video of Philip Paul saying some things that you never hear before because I'm on the mostly quiet. I will never see why them set up in baby and our mother for dead. 
guys, I thank you for joining and I will catch y'all later. And if you don't want the program to continue, if you don't want to keep on hearing the program, you go and go subscribe over the channel. Right? Me I do a voluntary sickness, me I do, you know. Right? Me can go in at the gym and go do some other rest of sitting for recreational purposes, you know. So if you don't want the program go on, that's no problem for me. But if you don't want to continue on this mission of making Jamaica a better place, you don't go on to subscribe over the channel. Right? Because they want to stop what going on over here, so but it's not going to work. So thank you guys for listening. And I will talk to you now. It's 6 o'clock my time. I'm going to drink my local soup. I will come back 8 o'clock my time. <laughs> no pain. I now pinch you and tell you nothing later. I love everything brawling tonight. Every God Almighty thing brawling. Can no allegedly not talk. Yes, everything brawling tonight. Nothing is alleged. Truth and fact. Okay? That is what to bring over here. So, yeah. So, look more here, guys. Take care on yourself. Thank you for joining.